My name is Jocelyn and I am a registered respiratory therapist and I have been doing respiratory care for about 17 years. So this is my little guy, Arrow. He's nine years old and he's about 10 pounds. My second dog, Beefy. <laughs> um, I've had Beefy since he was eight weeks old. He is 14 now and I was living in Florida for the last 15 years with my little dogs and now we're in New England, uh, the Boston area and we're getting to enjoy this fall weather that we haven't I haven't seen for 15 years. <laughs> That's why the dogs have their little sweatshirts because they're not used to 45 and 50 degree weather so. Number one, because they want to be with me. Um, Arrow's a little mama's boy and he doesn't like to be away from me. Um, and Beefy is actually, um, not only have I had him for 14 years, so the bond is very strong, but he's my seizure alert dog. So um, I have epilepsy and Beefy has naturally um, started to notice my my warning signs of when I'm going to have a seizure. So um, luckily I haven't had a seizure in over three years and we've done really good, but he definitely feels um, protective of me and that he needs to be watching and taking care of me. <coughs> Trying to check on them in the middle of my work day. So making sure that I don't, they, you know, they can handle going 12 hours without me while I'm on my shift. And they would do that if I was at a staff job too. Um, but it's actually an advantage that now that I have the camper van with me, it's right there at the hospital. And my employer has been um, really great about saying, hey, let me carry your pager for you. You can go out and see your dogs for a little bit. So that's been really nice um, that I don't have to be away from them for that long. But everything else is pretty easy with them. Like, as long as they're with me, they're happy. And, you know, I can find a place to take them for walks and, you know, show them a good time. And it's actually convenient to have them with me. One of the biggest positives of having them on the road is I'm not lonely. So um, as a traveling respiratory therapist, you, you know, go to a new location and you don't know anybody. And it's good to try to make some friends. And um, the department I'm in right now, they have get togethers um, outside of work so that the staff can interact. And that's really nice but you don't always have that. So it's nice to have my dogs and have that comfort and friendship and um, someone also to think of and take care of besides myself. Their vet is with a national, what's the word, like company, corporation, locations all throughout the US. So um, I keep their records with me, but it's also nice that when I use that same um, company, they have records and I'm able to find a location anywhere near me and get anything that I need for the dogs. I took them to Shenandoah National Park and was able to go hiking with them and um, just the fun that they had and experiencing it through their cute little eyes made it even more fun. We had a great time together. What I tell someone else who wants to travel with pets is that it's definitely doable. There's just going to be a little bit more time involved and steps involved, um, but you can do it. You can get dog walkers in cities you go to so that while you're on your shift, someone can come and walk your pet. Um, you can find veterinary um, assistance anywhere you go and you can definitely do it with your pet.